Alright, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mickey and I am the Thrifty Monkey on eBay, Poshmark, and the Mercari app. And I am a part-time reseller. I am way behind on my videos, so you're going to see several videos with this setting <laughs> and this outfit. Um, I just, um, I work full time and then I come home and do this on the weekends. I have hit a few rummage sales. They finally started happening here. I um, also am trying a new um, microphone, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me a little better. And I'm just going to continuously try to make my videos better and try to get more, uh, try to get better at putting them out regularly. Um, I did find out one thing, um, I'm not going to do the, um, the what sold videos right now. I don't have time. They take so long to, um, put in all the, the snapshots of what sold, um, that it takes me a lot longer to get the video out. I'm going to try to make videos that I can get up quicker right now until I am not working so full time or somehow I miraculously put in a few more hours in my day. So <laughs> um, please stick with me. Um, if you like the videos I put out, if you think I have content that you would like to see um, or that you do like to see, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I would appreciate if you like the content, if you would subscribe. I'm trying to get my viewer content up. I'm quite low right now, so. <laughs> um, uh, I would I would appreciate it um, and if you ever would like to see something that I have not done I'm always open to suggestions um, if there is advice you have on making my videos a little better please constructive criticism I, I have nothing against that um, but uh, yeah please keep it constructive uh, <laughs> today we are doing a video for I'm going to do a versus video. Uh, I'm going to track what sold on my shoes um, for the two boxes. Uh, my last video, which I don't have posted yet, but hopefully by the time I put this one up, it will be posted, was a 15 piece uh, thread up box of shoes. Um, the other box that I had gotten for shoes from thread up was I think 30. And this box, I believe, was better, but when I went through the shoes, I found more damage than I had originally thought. So I will try to do um, a video um, maybe a month out to see, or I might just do a recap video, my thoughts on the two boxes, and if one was better than the other, or if they're comparable. Um, Joe Mar doesn't have a 15, did I say? We're doing a Joe Mar. <laughs> uh, 20 piece shoe box I believe it came in this humongous box and it's seen a little better days but uh, I'm going to get this opened up and we will see what what we got in here hang on just a second Um, the box isn't in horrible condition, but it does look like it got rolled around in the back, back of a, a mail truck or something. Uh, ooh, already I see something I like. Let me get this open. One thing that I noticed about Jomar, um, I have not purchased any other boxes from them yet, other than this one. Um, their clothing boxes kind of scare me because their shipping is so expensive. I'm, but um, my next video might be a, this is the thought, Jomar has a 300 piece wholesale box and ThreadUp has one. However, I have to get some things sold in my closet. This last week things have slowed down a lot on all of my, my sites. Um, I'm trying out uh, Depop, very limited, uh, but I'm going to see if I can grow that a little bit. Um, so I'm trying to find things that fit 
on there a little better. Um, so we'll have some videos on that maybe also in the future. Um, my rabbit tracks, my rabbit holes <laughs> are back. Okay, they rubber banded their shoes together and their shoes are dirty. I mean, nothing that a little elbow grease couldn't clean up. But they rubber banded the sets together, which makes it kind of nice getting them out of here. Now this is a pair of Adidas five and a half women's Um, the inside looks really good and the mate is a little smushed but overall not bad very dirty so that is pair one and they are in from what I can tell other than the dirt they're in very good shape um, probably better than a lot of the shoes I have seen in the Poshmark boxes not to say that every pair in here is going to be that good, but and then we have a pair with minimal wear, from what I can tell. I'll look them over of some high stacked heels. Um, it's BCB Generation. Now, if I can get there, you go. I'm gonna turn this light up a little bit so you can. It washes me out a little bit, makes the tags pop a little more. And these are a um, suede or faux suede, I'm not sure, um, braided top. And it looks like you would wrap them around your ankle. It's kind of a cage style-ish, gladiator, I'm not sure what you would call that. Kind of cute. And these are, okay, let's see, it's an 8M leather upper, man-made lining. Um, so yeah, I like those. They look in good shape. I just kind of brush up the suede a little bit and see if I can get it to look a little fresher. And I got a pair of stilettos with Leather Soul Stuart Weitzman made in Spain with a very 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 pointy toe. They look like they're in good shape though. The heels are not all beat up for being they are they look a lot shinier on the screen. They are not um, patent leather, they're just a black leather. There's a little bit of wear here, a little bit of wear there, and they were on consignment for $32 at Green Street Consignment, <laughs> wherever that is, but it's a spike pump, size six. Very, very pointy. All right. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. There's so many. I like the way they, they bundle them together. It makes it a lot easier to find. Now this is, they have been worn, but this is a tag that is still sticking on there and not all worn off. Now these sold originally for $89.50. It's a Talbot's and it is a slight wedge uh, with an ankle strap. And it's an eight and a half. I don't even know where you would look to find out any information about these on here because it's not, doesn't look like there's anywhere they could print on. Oh, there it is. Eight and a half, made in China, genuine leather upper, man made outsole. So it's genuine leather in a, a nice red. And they look in very good shape. I am impressed so far. The first four of my um, thread up box were not this good shape at all. I mean, they're dirty, but just barely worn. All right, we got a pair of wedge booties. Suede, they are Toms. Okay, I've not sold Toms. They hear good things about them. It's a size 
five, I think. U.S. Six. Sorry, it was worn on there. Size six. <laughs> Just tiny little things, but they are so cute. And they look in very good shape. And on the inside, barely has any wear on the printing. It's got a little bit back here. It's got the toms across the back. The soles look very good. I am very, very happy so far. These, these first five are awesome. Tiny size, but it'll sell. I just sold a pair of five and a halfs today that I didn't think was ever going to sell. Granted, I sold them for really cheap just because I've had them forever and they were damaged from my first thread up shoe box. Um, <laughs> these. Ted Baker. They're going to need some work. They're a little dirty. Um, it's just a ballerina flat with a large bow on it. Uh, Ted Baker. Cinderella is proof that new pair of shoes can change your life. That a new pair of shoes can change your life. So Ted Baker. Um, I think I've heard the name. It is kind of dirty and gringy looking on the inside, but I'm going to see if I can get them cleaned up. So it's got the T for Ted Baker. And I mean, the sole can be cleaned up, I'm sure, so check it out. They are size 35 and a half. I didn't think they did halves. 36 and a half? 35 and a half. Made in China. Ted Baker, London. Okay, so... The next pair. Oh, we've got some nice looking shoes in here. Okay, we'll take these patent leather. If you have tips on getting scuffs out of patent leather, um, I've not worked with patent leather before. I think I've had a couple pairs, but I've been very lucky that they, they weren't all scuffed up. Now these look brand new. This is a Charles by Charles David brand new shoe. Now it is a large size. This is size 13, I believe. But big footed people made shoes too, right? Now it was 49. Okay, started out originally $99. It was sold at Nordstrom Rack for $49.97 and marked down to $39.60. But they have absolutely no wear other than the scuffing up. So, and she's got the kitten heel. heel. So, it might take me a while to sell that one, but I bet you whoever gets them will be very happy. These are cute. Zara Basic. It's like a little ballerina slipper almost, more than the other, just because it has the, it's flat with the straps that go up the ankle. But it's got a little stacked heel. So it's Zara, Zara Basic Collections. It's just got this cute lace detail. The lace is kind of splitting, but I think if I disclose that, it should be fine. Um, size 38, so that's the bottom. It's the insole. A little smushed, but nothing horrible. And this one looks the same. never been fond of the square toes, but I hear people say that they sell. Um, some people specifically look for them, I guess. Now these are KBF. I do not know what KBF is. It's in, these almost look vintage to me, but just because of the color combinations. It's got a navy and a green, like a forest green. It's got the st stacked heel, the square toe, size 38 somewhere but nothing horrible um, and it's just got the buckle at the back of the oh <laughs> that is weird okay it's got a buckle but evidently you just hook this little loop wherever you put this buckle I'm guessing so it's a, a fast in and out buckle so I have to look this up, but if you have any info, if I haven't figured it out, feel free to leave a message below. 
<clears throat> so this was the mystery shoe pack women's pre-loved 20 pairs it was $74.99 and my shipping was $36.22 brought it to a total of $111.21 and I believe I'll have to do the math but I thought it was around five or six dollars per pair which with the shape these are in I'm okay with that's what I pay around here is five or six dollars for a good pair of shoes and that's not even a high-end shoe <laughs> those are just um kind of bread and butter shoes that I, that I end up paying for. We don't have any great, holy cow. Okay, <laughs> look at the height of that. That is a huge heel. Sorry, it's been a day. It's been a week. It's been a weekday. All right, we got another pair of Talbots and I think it's the same style as my red pair. So they might have been donated by the same person because they're both eight and a half. So we have a black pair and a red pair. And they are in comparable condition. There's no toe prints on the bed. I mean, they've been worn, but they're, they're in really good shape. Right. I'll save some of the cuter ones for last. It, this looks like Now these are Saks Fifth Avenue, and it's got a back zip. That's a little smush right now from being in the box. So then it ties around the ankle. That's cute. It's got, I mean the leather's a little, I'll put some leather conditioner on there. It's, it's got little scuffs and things. But overall, they're in really good shape. Well, okay, not great shape. You might see if I can kind of add a little polished I don't know do you do that if you have a kind of a, a marred surface like that on the toe do you put a little polish on there that matches the color let me know below because I'd like to sell these they're a cute style it's just a little flat with a tiny tiny stacked heel um, with an ankle tie I like those so yeah if you do that and it works let me know or if it doesn't work let me know um, okay, we've got another pair of, what do they call these, chunky heels? Um, Top Shop is $85. It's got European price on here also, 68 euros maybe, and 49 pounds. I don't know much about Top Shop, I've heard the name. It's got this really cute grommet detail on them. I like these. These are a size six and a half US. Very good shape. I can't say I ever, out of the two boxes I got from Thread Up, I don't think either of them looked this good overall. And I'm not done yet. It's a very chunky heel. <laughs> it's about what I need though anymore. I've never been the most coordinated person and I don't wear heels. <laughs> Let's see. We'll do this one next. That's kind of different. Okay, these are Rodolfo Zangerin Ital Italia. And they are a leather. It's got the cowhide and it's a 39 and a half and these are a kind of slide but it's got this little strap that you tie around your ankle so, so I've not seen anything like this I like that uh, it's a little different it's got suede really really soft suede here and that's on both shoes they have been worn and they are a little scuffed on the toe, but I think they're still wearable. I, with the other pair too, they are scuffed, but I think they're still wearable. I think there's still life in them. Um, the heels are a little smushed, but I don't think it's something that you couldn't wear. Um, another very 
not as pointy as that other pair I had. But pointy shoe. Okay, we're going to do this guy here. It is a Franco Sardo. Now that's one I get around here a lot. I get a lot of Franco Sardos. This is from Nordstrom's Rep. I did not know they sold Franco Sardo. Um, and I believe they have not been worn other than maybe in the store. There's the tag. Oh, let me put it right side up for you. There's the tag. And it is a... Okay, they sold originally for $89. Nordstrom rack price was $49.97. And they are now in my box for 5 or $6. Um, it's an open toe with is that three or four inch four inch heel um and i know the term for this but i can't think of it right now the opening here um but yeah brand new well not brand new but new new ish and another pair of zara basics these are really cute but i don't know hope you have to make them look fresh again, but I'm going to try. It's suede, so it's got a leather sole also. Um, okay, these are the Zara Basics, which is not high, high end, but they're kind of cute. They're multi-tone. Got the brown, the tan, and then the black. It's got the ankle strap. Very cute. I like these. Very feminine. The heel is a little smashed, but it is a stiletto, so it's holding a good portion of the weight on that little spot. Other than looking dirty, I mean, there are, I don't see any bald spots, so I'm going to try to clean these. Oh, I take that back. The, the heels are all chewed up, but I still think somebody might want these. these they're very cute. So I'll get them cleaned up and get them listed. I'll just have to not have them as high a price as some of the others that I could put on there. Now I've got three pair of tennis shoes, a pair of Toms, and then these slide sandals. So I'm going to do the sandals. It's just a flat slide, and it's a Zara Woman <laughs> with a tiny, tiny stacked heel. Um, I just got this beautiful braided um, strap that goes across the foot. And it's got the sewn, I don't know if that's real leather. It's got the sewing around the bed made, made in Morocco. Sorry, <laughs> I have bifocals, so I'm always trying to look at all these little print. Um, they are a size 39, European. I will have to look up what that is in U.S. sizes. But they are in very good shape. Happy with these, too. I have not seen one thing in here that I'm not happy with. Uh, this is awesome. I don't know if it's a fluke. Maybe it's because I it's the first box I ever bought from them and they're trying to woo me into <laughs> buying more. I don't know. Pair of Toms. I am not a big fan of the Toms shoes, the way they, they fold the canvas up here, but I hear they sell well. They've got the foam bottom. I don't know if it's a lower end Toms or if that's the way they do all of them. Uh, very light. I think they'd be very comfortable to wear. And it is a W6 with repair. They give away shoes when you make purchases, evidently. And, yep, six brown taupe canvas shoes. And then I have three pair of tennis shoes. I'm going to take the funky colored ones first. They almost look like they have a it's not a cleat, but it looks like they're made for running. They've got the grippies. Sausony. I have a pair of Sausony. They felt like I was walking on clouds when I got them. 
Um, I would probably end up selling those because since I don't wear them anymore, I might as well get them moved on to somebody else. These are a size eight and a half, very light running shoes, very thin, so they would breathe when you're in hot weather running. And they have a funky, what you call that, an animal print? In purple, green, and orange. You stand out with these. But they are in excellent shape. Uh, a little bit of dog hair or something in the bottom. My shoes probably look like that too. Um, okay, we have Adidas and Nike. I don't know which to do first, so we'll do the Adidas. <laughs> these are cute. Very cute. They say campus on them. Side. And they are in excellent shape. I mean, there's not a whole lot of dirt on there. You can brush the suede a little bit. Um, Thy welt mark mit den three something. <laughs> The brand with the three stripes. Uh, U.S. size 5, so it's a smaller size. Very, very cute. I like these. There's another something I can list during when they have about the same piece. When they do the sportier parties. Now these are... Size 7. It's weird the way Nike does that. They have replaceable insoles. And they put the tag on them. Um, so it is it's like a running shoe. It's Air, Air Max. Dirty, but nothing. They can't clean up pretty easy. It's got this kind of see through. It's in burgundy and orange and yellow, bright yellow. So that was the last pair. What do you think? What's your favorite shoe here? Uh, if I had to choose, I don't know. I don't know what would be my favorite, honestly. I, this is probably one of the most unique that I saw in here. I have no voice. This is one of the most unique that I saw in here. Um, probably be something like that or I really like these they have a little damage but they're very cute um, uh, he's Adidas I don't know <laughs> I have several favorites out of this one but tell me what your favorite is down below please um, I enjoy reading comments I try to at least give you a heart if I liked your comment <laughs> or I try to reply if I can um, sometimes they don't uh, merit a response, but um, I definitely like any any uh, communication from you guys. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to get these put back in the box so I can get to them and get them cleaned up. Um, I Over here I have some clothing because these are uh, a couple weeks worth of picking up things here and there. I'm going to probably break it into a couple videos because it's two weeks worth. Um, and I have some hard goods that I have been ignoring, that I have found, and I might do a video for that too. Um, so yeah, I thank you for stopping by, and um, once again, if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow my channel, so that, that would help me. Um, and come on back for my next video. Thanks.